Hello YouTube, it's me again. Today I'm going to be working on this black zebra print design. It's kind of got a gradiated blue effect on it. It's this design here. That's what it looks like on short nails, if you do it on short nails, because I had to cut this nail because it kind of chipped and broke. So it got cut. But yeah, I've pre-prepared this nail here just for ease just to show you how to do the zebra prints and I've also added some small dots as well. This nail here I've just done one coat of acrylic paint, a French manicure in acrylic paint to get started with. The reason I'm using acrylic paint is because, well you'll see because it kind of blends. I have just got a very thin brush here, it's what I'm using for the minute. Alright, I'll get started. I'm just going in with white acrylic paint. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that, go over that top half and bring that down a little bit, kind of like that. Then, I'm going to go in with this blue here and mix that, I'm going to mix that in with the white. No, I'm just going in with it full strength and then I'm mixing it on the nail, not actually on the palette. So I'm just going to pat it on like this and bring it down a bit. So kind of pat it on and then bring it down a little bit more and then because you've got a harsh line there, kind of a quite harsh line, I'm just going to tap the paint off my brush and tap a little bit of water off and then I'm just going to, with kind of a dry paintbrush, go in with your brush only slightly damp and this just kind of blends the two together. Like so. Now I'm going to go in with this blue here. It's kind of a royal blue. These are all acrylic paints. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Remember to wipe your paintbrush as you change the colours because then they don't get mixed up on the brush. And then just pat that on here, really. Now, what I'm going to do to blend those two together get the majority of the paint off your brush slightly damp again and just dab and then I'm gonna like that and then I'm basically I'm just gonna go in again with the blue and do that kind of to bring the dark blue up towards a little bit further upwards let's go in and add paint when you think you need it. Kind of a bit like that, really. Uh, well, like that. Now that's not exactly the effect that I want, so I am just going to go in again with blue and tap in as I need it. Uh, just tap in like that. Mm -hmm. I want it weaker and more blended towards the bottom and more stronger at top. And just blend that out really. Oh, I've missed a bit of white there, so I'm just going to go in very quickly with the white on that section there. I'm still in frame. Oh, no, yeah, I'm still in frame. Um, uh, and then I am just going to go in with the blue again on the ends, full strength blue, and I'm not going to really, I'm not going to blend that out on the end, I'm, I want it full strength, kind of. This is my first freehand tutorial in a while, so I wanted to do something pretty nice for you, so I'm just going to wipe that off on my hand. I've kind of like got 
it all over my hand as you can probably see because I use my hand as kind of like a mini palette whenever I need to wipe my brush. Now I'm going in with a different brush. I'm going in with this brush here. It's quite kind of thin. We've got new paint brushes as you've probably noticed. I bought them at the weekend so because my old, old my old ones were kind of a bit like ruined so that's why I didn't really do freehand nail tutorials and I did a few wet marbles instead so I've got myself new brushes now so I'll be doing a lot more freehand tutorials I'm just going in with black acrylic paint and on the end of that I am just gonna go Ooh. like that Ta -da! so you've got your line there right that's that section done, you could probably leave it there if you wanted to. Or do different shades of colours if you wanted to do it in purple. Purple would be a good idea actually because I've used a pink base coat. This pink base coat here is China Glaze's Dance Baby, which I've been using quite a lot past few weeks. I've been using it a hell of a lot because it's a really nice nail polish and I love the colour. Especially very springy. Springy? Springy as well. So, yeah, basically all I've done... Uh, yeah, I've got that, and then what I did is I top coated that, and then leave your top coat to dry. Make sure that's dry first before you put your top coat on. The reason I'm top I've top coated is because I'm using acrylic paint mainly, and especially at the ends of your fingers, acrylic paint wears away more than nail polish. If you've got a nail polish the same color as the paint you're using on the ends of your fingers, then maybe you could just on the very very ends just put a bit on there because nail polish doesn't chip as easy as acrylic paint. So that's why I'm using, I've top coated it, and then I'll just top coat that when that's dry. And now to get to work on the zebra print. I'll get my middle zebra print again. I'm using this thin brush here, the longer thin brush, uh, and then I'm going in with the black again. Just want to get it to a thickness that you can work with. I find different paints. You need different thicknesses really, it depends on the paint, but also depends on you as well, it depends on how thick you like your paint. So I'm just going to go in with the zebra print, I'm just going to go from one side over to the other like so. Kind of, I think with zebra print, the quicker you do your strokes, the better and the more fluent they look. I'm going to go from the other side now. Like that. And then like that. This nail design is actually inspired by a Robin Moses one. It's it's the nail design where she done the pink and then she done like a chevron freight shape French manicure and it was like it was, I think it was a Delicious one. I know she was with Juicy in that video, but yeah, this is Robin Moses inspired because I know she likes people to shout her out. And she's also really, really good. And it's where I learnt most of my, oh uh, crap, that's not a very good zebra, is it, you know? Uh, right, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm just going to go in with this brush and that shade of paint that's in the middle and I'm just going to go whew, and that will cover that up it will cover up any mistakes you've made and basically I'm just going to go in with this side oh this is really awkward on camera Ooh. oh my god this isn't turning out very well Right, because it's not turning out very well, I am going to show you how to fix it. And I'm not recording this again because it's 20 past 9 <laughs> and I need to get my stuff ready. Right, basically I'm just going to go in, I'm gonna go in with the full strength blue. The light blue that is. Right, I'm just going to go in with the full strength blue like not like that either because that's just messed up the design but hey ah things are going wrong oh 
well, please, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to mix a little bit of the light blue and the dark blue together to where I can get that shade that's in the middle there. It's a bit going to go wrong again, but hey. It's not turning out to be very good, but hey. Oh well. Can you see how I've kind of gone in the middle there? And I'm kind of fixing it up. As I'm going, <sighs> dry. <sighs> I'm so high, it's unreal. <clears throat> I'm dying. Oh no, my paint. <laughs> my paint's thickening up as well. Oh crap. Right, I'm gonna show like that. Right, basically, you see how I went in there? And I got that, I got it fixed up. That's how you do it. Now because that in the middle there is dry, I'm just going to put a tiniest bit of paint on my brush. So my brush end is really, really thin. And I'm going to go in from this side and gently just tap in. And tap out what I want rid of. Got to do it in stages as well because... We'll pick up right there we go that's what you want for the leopard design a kind of a thin design it's because of the camera angle i'm not able to do it very well i'm not able to get the right angle when i'm messing up but hey that's a little mess up tip there so if you mess up just wait for your acrylic paint to dry the way you've messed it up and go in with the same shade of color underneath and then just touch it up because it, it it like wipes it out and can give you a clean line if you don't get a very good line in the first place uh, but yeah, I'm not able to do it because the camera's kind of a little bit in my way. But that's what you want for the leopard print design. I'm just going to add one more black. Oh no. Ugh. I'm just going to go in with the black again. And just go in like that. Get what on the end to make it look a bit more. Yeah, because right. The top one, that's messed up on the other side and it's too thick. So what we're going to do is we, I'm sorry if this video turned out to be really long and I've got to watch the time and otherwise I'm not going to be able to upload it onto YouTube and it's going to take forever. Do you even know how long it takes to upload a video to YouTube? It takes forever, man. But, oh well, I don't mind. Now I'm just going to go in like that. And I'm going to go for the black again. Sorry if this is annoying you. If this is annoying you, just skip about 30 seconds a minute. And then it will show you how to do the white dots on there. But I'm just going to show you how to fix things up if they go wrong. Ha ha. Right, now this is the, uh, this is the angle I don't like. Right, I'm just going to... I've been very careful of what I want like that. That's kind of alright. I'll, I'll fix it up a little bit more when I'm off camera, but I can't really do it because of the angle. But basically, that's what you want to do. You want to do it flowy. You want to go, just take your brush and go. And the quicker you do it, the more flowy it gets. And holy shit, this is a 13 minute long video. I'm just going to jump straight to the white dots. Just get your brush. And very a little paint on the end, and go and dot along here. Right. Sorry if this is a long video. That's your design done. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions or comments, just put a comment down below. And this is going to run out. I'm not going to be able to upload it. No. No. Yes, it is. No, it is. You just want a top coat. I'm talking really fast. So yeah, you just want to top coat that again, and then you're done for your nail design. Right, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below or send me an inbox or whatever or do all that shit. Um, if you could subscribe, it would be a big help to me. And thank you so much for watching, even though this video has turned out not as I wanted it. But I'll still upload it anyway, because I like the snail design. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!